when somebody dies or when somebody is certified dead by your doctor, he is not completely dead. Death happens slowly. If you are not already aware of this, that after a person dies, up to eleven days for sure, most of the time up to fourteen days, fingernails grow, hair grows. You know this? Because death is happening slowly. Step by step it's going, it's not yet complete. So it's based on this, that when somebody dies, there are rituals in India. Up to fourteen days, there are various kinds of rituals. Unfortunately, these rituals have mostly lost their… the knowledge behind that, the power behind that has been lost and people are just doing things like… for livelihood somebody is doing it or just for the sake of doing it, they're doing it. Very few people truly understand the significance of what it is. So what people are trying to do, how well it is done or how ridiculously it is done today is a different matter, but there is a whole science what to do at different steps. Because life energies recede slowly, they've gotten so deep into this every cell in the body, it doesn't just go poof like this. Functionally it may die, but totally it does not die, it dies slowly. So we want to hasten the process, we don't want somebody to die slowly. Dying slowly can be torturous, isn't it? So it can be torturous, so we want him to live quickly. After he dies, first thing is to tie the toes together, you know this? You still do it or no? Tie the toes together because if you do not tie the toes together, from the lower end of the body, it will start imbibing life. It wants to live because all the cells in the body are not dead. They are still making an effort to live. They will try to draw energy. When they try to draw energy, certain forces will enter the body. So you don't want that to happen to your loved one. So the moment he dies, you tie the toes. Now no external support, he will go much more quickly. Tying up the big toes will tighten up the muladhara in a certain way, so the body cannot be invaded or attempts to invade the body by that life once again because that, bo that life has not lived with the awareness knowing that this is not me. It is always believed this is me, though it has come out, it tries to enter through any orifice that is there in the body, particularly through the muladhara because that's, li that's where life generates and as body starts cooling down, the only region where warmth will remain till the last point, the last point of warmth is always the muladhara. So it tries to get back. To avoid this, the first thing is tie the toes so that that attempt will not happen because this exiting is happening stage by stage. And the next thing is, you wash him up with water. Because when you wash the dead, even if you're alive, if somebody tries to give you a bath, they'll pour water on your face, you will feel like you're being waterboarded. When you were a child, when your mother gave baths to you, because we never use showers and things, they poured water, she always held it like this for you, so that the water doesn't come here and you don't feel waterboarded. So if you just pour water over the face, this dead guy gets waterboarded. If any little activity is happening, it all cease. So to live gracefully, and to die gracefully is very important. Death is not some strange subject that we should not talk about. It is right here, progressing for all of us, isn't it? Slowly maturing, your death is maturing. One day it will be complete. Let it be a long time after. 
but right now it is maturing, isn't it? So I am saying, this is a culture where we understood life and death absolutely well and dealt with it as it should be dealt with. Within the first fourteen days, you can do a lot of service to the dead. That culture grew, that science grew in a big way in this country, but then got corrupted. So, what was a, a very wonderful science became commerce, and commerce became corruption. 